Hello guys, Brooklyn here, and today we have more leaks, so stay tuned to find out more. If you do enjoy the video, why not like the video as well as subscribe and turn on notifications, but let's get into it. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build an online presence and run your business. So first off, we start off with some very exciting rumours all around the LEGO Lord of the Rings theme. For a while now, we've done a massive set is coming, and thanks to Leaky Minifigure and Stone Wars, we know that 10316 is indeed going to be Rivendell, which has been heavily teased and rumoured over the past few weeks. And of course, this one is going to look pretty good, and it's going to be coming in at a whopping $500 as the price point, making it an absolutely huge set. It's scheduled to release on March 1st, 2023 so just around three months away and it'll be really interesting to see how lego captures this mega kind of scene in lego form storm wars are suggesting this one will probably be minifigures rather than micro scale but there is a chance to do it similar to the hogwarts castle as they are around the same price point of course we are getting the brickheads in january so that's kind of warming us up for this massive set which is scheduled to launch in march i know there'll be a lot of hype around this one and people really will be wanting minifigures and another new set which is coming of course we only just got this one kind of revealed as part of the ideas theme being the tales of the space edge but thanks for all bricks we already know the 21340 the tales of the space edge is coming very soon and it's going to be coming in at a 50 dollar price tag including 688 pieces and should be launching in may 2023 of course the original model was really good so i doubt they've had to do that many tweaks which is why it is releasing so soon promo bricks also went on to confirm bts will be coming just before that one and will be coming in at 100 dollar price point so quite expensive it is coming in at a 749 piece count which is slightly smaller than you'd expect for $100. But this one will be focused on probably new minifigure parts and molds, probably not too much on the build, so maybe that's why it is that higher price point. We'll have to see how that one performs, and it's going to be launching in March 2023. But of course, before all that, the best one, the most exciting one I'm excited for, is 21338, the airframe cabin. We now have a piece count of 2,082. It's going to be coming in at $200 and launching in February, so we should see images around the middle of January. But yeah, I'm really excited to see the airframe cabin, as it's been one which has been coming for a while and then we also got a leak of a brand new lego marvel minifigure this one being part of the january wave this one being a brand new version of captain america with a brand new torso print which looks amazing this one also confirms the quinjet set launching in january for 100 will be based off the avengers 2012 movie the dolls printing is great it's really detailed i don't think there's anything new with the actual the cap like the rubber piece you put on top of captain america no leg printing but yeah i'm really excited to see the other figures in that set as well as the quinjet presumably pictures within the next week or so and then of course lego dungeons and dragons the ideas kind of collaboration is coming in 2024 or they've now narrowed it down to the finalists these you can go and vote for on lego ideas on the website but the votes won't go too far in counting what happens it's going to be basically lego is deciding which one is picked with dungeons and dragons but obviously if you a lot of people vote for one then kind of get the idea a lot of people want that one so obviously if you want to contribute to that you can do and then lego dungeons and dragons should be launching at some point in 2024 and now, so many of you are excited for the LEGO Indiana Jones theme returning next year. Of course, we know we are getting three remake sets. They're coming in April, on April 1st, 2023. But there's kind of a mystery around what the biggest set is going to be. 77015 coming in at $150. Well, thanks to a store listing, it potentially suggested this one will be an 18 plus set. We just got to explain why we haven't had too much info. This one could be a brick build buildable object, some kind of bust at that $150 price point. Something like we've seen like within Marvel or DC. Or this one it could be a diorama set like we've seen with star wars and jurassic world there's a lot of potential with being 18 plus i'm sure this one will be a display model and we'll probably have some pretty good detailed builds and also minifigures but yeah the indiana jones theme is really offering something for everyone so they're launched in april like i say so now a word from today's video that sponsors squarespace and with squarespace you can build a professional and easy to navigate website such as one for all your lego needs part of the features are that you can sell your lego on an online store and squarespace has all the tools you you need to start selling online whatever your product may be you can present your work using squarespace's professional portfolio designs display projects and customizable galleries like i done for all these new lego leaks i'm excited for that land rover and squarespace uses automatic image scaling and image blocks to automatically scale or fit images to ensure they always look right irrespective of the placement within your content so give your website a personal and smooth look for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash brick clicker Save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain, but back to the video. 
And we just got a reveal at the next LEGO minifigure series, this one being series 24. But as LEGO potentially teased the minifigure coming either next summer or in series 25, is in the brand new LEGO Australia offices. You can see there is the Koala Bear CMF printed on the wall. I did a quick Photoshop, added some colour and also a questionable face. And you can see this one could really fit into that CMF mould. So they could potentially tease this one and it could be in the works or a future one ready to release with a future CMF series. As we do know that LEGO does love to do those costume figures. Like we've seen with the dinosaur and also the carrot suit in the most recent collectible minifigure series launching on January 1st. And we got a look at the last LEGO Christmas promo, official images that is, for 2022. This one is going to be available with a now revised $150 or £150 spend from the 1st to the 24th of December. So starting literally tomorrow. So you're going to be able to pick this one up. Pretty good promo. You can see it is quite detailed. It does include Santa and also an elf. Not bad if you want to add it to your Christmas display. Then a lot of you have probably been picking up the Eiffel Tower this week. Well, probably some of you have given it is such an expensive price tag. But LEGO China has done an exclusive promo for this one. Which you can see comes in a nice little sleeve packaging. And includes some exclusive postcards which you get with the set. You can see one of them is of course the Eiffel Tower. The Disney Castle Boutique Hotel. The Van Gogh Starry Night. Also the Passenger Train. And also the most recent LEGO Winter Village set. You can also see it is kind of the landmarks on the back where these are located. But in that one is for the Eiffel Tower. And maybe Starry Night even. But yeah that is a really cool kind of extra which won't be that easy to come by but if you're in china you might have got this one free with the lego eiffel tower and then in the next lego jurassic world magazine you are see we're getting a baby dino with a bit of food on a bit of a ledge you can see this one does also include a little play feature but you can drop down the food i think it is so the dinosaur can get that just a nice little cool freebie you get when they're always cheap with these magazines four or five pound like we always say and then a few years ago now, LEGO introduced this LEGO Otter mold in a Harry Potter set, but we haven't actually added recolored into an actual Otter. Well, that is all going to change with 60394, a new city set, being the ATV and Otter Habitat. This one is going to be including 90 pieces coming in for $10. Presume this one will probably include like two Otters. That one is scheduled to release on January 1st, 2023. So very soon, we'll now be getting an updated LEGO Otter mold. Probably we'll see pictures within the next week of that one. And someone also spotted in the next LEGO City magazine, which we showed last time, there is actually a picture of the fireball in the top right hand corner this one coming in at 30 dollars also launching on january 1st of course the picture is very blurry just being tiny in the magazine but you can see a pretty basic fireball and also looks to be a jet ski and also some firefighters not a bad set at all given it is 30 dollars for a quite beefy bulk bought piece and then at lego disney 100 of course we know that the sets are coming in kind of april and may time but it looks like this brand new theme of minifigure based disney set is continuing into the summer before free 221 disney animation is the code name for that sub theme coming in at 60 dollars and also a pretty big one for free 215 disney animation for 150 dollars so this seems they're doing a lot of sets i think there'll probably be somewhere like 10 sets with all these adding up next year so some really potential within these minifigure based sets and let's hope it continues beyond just disney 100 and into the next few years as people are constantly asking for lego disney minifigure based sets and the lego icon set which was originally meant to release in 2021 a lot of you have been asking about this one it was originally titled 10301 with the codename space suggesting it'd be a space set well, we're almost at the end of 2022 now, so it looks like the set isn't going to be releasing this year. A lot of you have been asking, is it going to be? Well, it looks like it's not even going to be releasing next year. It's no information that's come out by yet. We didn't even know a price or anything. It just happens sometimes with sets. When they get so close to release, there might be an issue, or they might just decide not to release it, and that seems to be the case with this one, sadly. Of course, there has been a lot of LEGO space sets extended into kind of what were many retired last year, or now retiring this year, potentially meaning there was just too many space sets on the market. I hope next summer, though, we'll see a new spare set given people love these sets and we've got one almost two years ago now since we saw the last spare set so let's be hopeful but that was news new 2022 leaks and rumors comment down below which ones you're excited for which ones are you not like video subscribe and turn notifications and more lego videos and i got news videos watch any of videos on screen now remember guys keep clicking and breaking i'll see you all later guys bye bye